Jurors found ex-MSU basketball star Mateen Cleaves not guilty of sexual assault charges, but now we are getting our first look at critical evidence from his trial. It's surveillance video from the night Cleaves was accused of rape video you'll see only on 7. 7 investigator Ross Jones is here right now with a look at that key evidence. Ross? Carolyn Dave, good evening. A jury acquitted Cleaves on all four counts of sexual assault, and they did it after watching this video. It was a critical piece of evidence that you were barred from seeing during trial. You're about to see it now, but we need to warn you, the video is difficult to watch. In the early hours of September 15th, 2015, the woman who alleged Mateen Cleves raped her is seen walking away from the Knights Inn Motel, partially nude. That's Cleves following her, wearing nothing but socks. You can see Cleves grab her, spin her around, and pull her back to the room she just tried to leave. She bends her knees to resist and continues to try pulling away before, it appears, ultimately giving up. The video has no audio, but in court, a witness to the struggle testified about what she saw and heard. She looked at me and she said, help me, help me, help me. And I had the phone in my hand and I told her, I'm on the phone right now, calling the police. I looked at Mateen in the eyes. He didn't say one word. Thirteen minutes later, she appears again, this time running away from Cleves, who chases her, then grabs her with both arms, pulling her back to the room. The struggle continues until she ultimately falls to the ground, and seconds later, she tries to get away again. Once again, Cleves pulls her back, wrapping both arms around her waist and pulling her into the room. The same witness who called 911 also testified that she spoke to Cleves' accuser that night. She said that he got on top of her, but she couldn't fight him off, and that um, she just laid there. Cleves' attorneys maintain that the sex was consensual all along that the video showed Cleves trying to protect the woman when he pulled her back into the room. Ultimately, jurors sided with the former MSU star, deliberating less than three hours before acquitting him of all charges. And about an hour ago, Cleves' attorney Frank Manley issued a statement about the video we just showed you. It reads, the video was presented in a court of law. A jury found Mr. Cleves not guilty of all charges. The complainant had her day in court. The criminal matter is closed. Not guilty remains not guilty. We should also add Cleve's accuser declined to comment. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Ross.